What are they telling you about uh, St. Paul, the legislative process, and uh, uh, how satisfied or dissatisfied they are with the process? They want to see people talking. They want to see moderates on both sides. They want to see things getting done. Democratic Visions is handmade by volunteers for the entire metro region through DFL Senate District 48, Eden Prairie, and Minnetonka. On May 22, DFL endorsed candidate Lori McKendry filed to run for state senate representing Senate District 48, which includes Eden Prairie and the southern half of Minnetonka. Her opponent is David Han, a noted right-wing ideologue. We hope that you will sweep out uh, both David and his uh, posse of special interests. Welcome, Laurie. Thank you very much. It's really important that we do these, um, these neighborhood um, coffees and get-togethers. Thank you very much for um, hosting this. And um, I understand you grew up in a single-parent home and hope your mother inspired you to work hard and you, in fact, graduated magna cum laude from St. Catherine University. And I also understand that you've uh, lived in Minnetonka for the last 20 years. Besides uh, starting up two businesses, you successfully raised two children who are now in college. Is that right? They are. So, Laurie, that's a big undertaking to uh, commit to run for the state senate. Why did you decide to run? Well, like a lot of people in the district, I was really frustrated with what's happening at the Capitol. And going from talking about it and being upset about it, I thought, you know what, it's time to do something about it. Well, now, what made you upset about what was going on in St. Paul? Eternal gridlock and divisive, polarizing politics? I feel like it's very important that we have moderates on both sides so that we can have a dialogue. There has to be give and take. We know that. We have a two-party system, and that's a good thing. But we have to have people that are willing to talk, that are willing to compromise, that are willing to sit at the table. How do you uh, view yourself on the political spectrum? I see myself as a moderate. Um, you know, there, was, there are things that I would love to see done. Uh, health care, for instance, I think everybody should have health care. Um, but we do have differences uh, between the Democrats and the Republicans, and we, we both sides are going to have to compromise. It's a matter of being reasonable and moderate, and, and at the end of the day, going home as friends, like it used to be. 20 years ago, this, this wasn't happening at the Capitol. You know, I went on your website. You have your calendar of events, and nearly every day was uh, posted that you were going to be door knocking. Have you been doing that with uh, that much regularity? Yes, I have. I'm out there every day, weather permits, and sometimes even during the drizzle, as long as it's not a downpour. So, so <laughs> what are you learning? Because it is a learning experience going door to door. What are the people that you're uh, knocking on their doors? What are they telling you about uh, St. Paul, the legislative process, and uh, uh, how satisfied or dissatisfied they are with the process? Well, people are really dissatisfied. Uh, number one, they're dissatisfied on both sides. My uh, job going door to door is to listen, and they're upset. They want to see people talking. They want to see moderates on both sides. They want to see things getting done. Well, that's, isn't that more or less your slogan, get the job done? That is my slogan. Uh, how would you plan to uh, put that into action? Well, uh, number one, from knocking at the doors, and, and we'll see what happens you know, between now and November, but one of the big things people are saying is they do want light rail out here to Eden Prairie. That would add enormous amount of both jobs and transportation. Not everybody in our community has cars. Uh, we have a large population here that could use a light rail to this community, both um, older and younger. Who could possibly be against that? David Han. You're kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Lori, when you filed as a candidate for Senate District 48 Senate, you did so with Yvonne Seltzer and Tory Hill. Yvonne Seltzer is running for House District 48A. That's the southern Minnetonka I and northern so Eden Prairie area. And Tory Hill, for her part, is running House District 48B, southern Eden Prairie. Now, the three of you rode the uh, Hiawatha light rail train from the Mall of America to the Hennepin County Government Center to file, did you not? We did. Coming in here, seeing this big, beautiful flag behind me, it was really an honor to come down here and to file. This is uh, my first time filing. I'm really excited about not only filing, but working with people in Eden Prairie and Minnetonka. So I noticed on your website again that uh, you uh, went to the Twin West Chamber of Commerce. What kind of message do you hear from the folks that uh, frequent uh, that uh, organization? Well, they're highly in favor of uh, 
the Southwest Light Rail here, along with um, the Eden Prairie uh, Chamber of Commerce, along with the Edina Chamber of Commerce. There's five total that are have all given it the thumbs up, the yes. Their members are businesses. They're the businesses of our community. So when both the Eden Prairie and Minnetonka businesses say we want light rail um, and the federal government will fund more than half of that, to me it just makes sense that we bring that here to this area. When light rail transit comes here, our commuter services, such as Southwest Transit, which services Eden Prairie, the Metro Transit, which services Minnetonka and all of the metro area, will make it easier for all of us to go to and from work, sporting events, and our incredible theater we have here. We cannot move into the 21st century without some kind of mass transit. You go to any metropolitan city, um, Portland, D.C., Chicago, and they have a mass transit system. We are just starting to get there, and if we don't add this line, um, it's, it's really going to hurt us moving into the, into the future with our children. What about education? Are they talking about much about education when you uh, go knocking on doors? They are. Um, they're pretty upset about the uh, borrowing from our uh, school systems. We've borrowed some somewhere around 2.4 billion dollars from our school district. Billion with a billion B. Billion with a B. So we, we have a we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do, but we got to get focused on those things and not these other um, amendments to people's civil liberties. I, I think we need to get down to what's really important. I suspect you're referring to the uh, constitutional amendment to uh, ban uh, uh, marriage between two people of the same sex. Is that what you're referring to? That's one of them. Yes. The other one is the voter ID amendment. I would like someone to show me why we need this amendment. Where is the proof that we have such, such uh, voter fraud here that this is something we need. It we, doesn't exist. Now me. you've said uh, that your your goal would be to work across the aisles, uh, and uh, I'm assuming you view yourself in, as a as a moderate in that regard. But how does a moderate deal with people that are uh, just cast in an it'll, it'll ideological basis? I mean, how do you deal with somebody that uh, that you know the Tea Party uh, is is their anthem? Is it possible? You know, I, I mean, it's challenging. There's no question about that. I'm, I'm hoping it's possible. I think we have to first just talk to see why, why does it matter? I mean, who benefits from an amendment that says certain people can't get married? Who benefits from that? Um, and, and, and work at it backwards from that direction. You know, I would not have voted to put that on the ballot. I think it, it takes away rights. I don't think that's what America is about. I don't think that as a, um, a state or a country, we want to take people's rights away. Like another way of looking at it, I think maybe the important thing is to, as, as we said when we opened up your segment, sweep out the people that are <laughs> overly imbued with ide ideology and replace them. I don't care if there's a Republican elected in some district who's a moderate, although that's a, apparently a dying species. But if we could find people that are moderate and they could represent the Republican point of view, those are the kind of people I would think you'd be able to negotiate with, don't you think? I do. In door knocking, I'm I'm hearing from them. They're really upset about what's happened to their party, being uh, taken over by extreme uh, right wings. So, what's the funniest thing that's happened to you when you've been going door knocking? It's <laughs> the funniest thing. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind isn't the funniest, but uh, dogs. I'm amazed at how many people have dogs. I'm a uh, dog lover. I have two small dogs myself, uh, but I'm amazed at how many people have dogs. And the 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 hardest thing to try and talk to people is people got to get, get a handle on their dogs before they can open the door. <laughs> and uh, has any dogs uh, taken a, maybe a dislike uh, to you and uh, come at you as a, as a no. consequence of you, you being there? No. However, um, if there is a large dog outside, yeah, I'll come around. That's I'll great. come around again next time. <laughs> Democratic Visions is handmade by volunteers through DFL Senate District 48. Eden Prairie and Minnetonka. Lori Pryor, Chair.